Hey guys, welcome to Miami Recipes. Today I will show you how to prepare baby corn masala. First, we'll boil the baby corns in hot water. Now, instead of boiling these baby corns, you can also pan fry them. So, I have a pot with water on a high flame. Now, I'm gonna add seven baby corns which have been half slit. And I will also add a little bit of salt into this. I will boil these baby corns for about 8 to 10 minutes until they become little soft. Now in the meantime, we'll prepare the masala. So I'm gonna add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil into a wok. Now when the cooking oil is hot enough, I will add a bay leaf, an inch of cinnamon stick, 2 pots of cardamom and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now we'll saute them until the aroma comes out. Now I'm gonna add an onion which has been finely chopped. I will saute the onions until it becomes little translucent. Now next I will add a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and I will saute them for a minute until the raw smell comes out. Now I'm gonna add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder and quarter teaspoon of cumin powder. Now I'm gonna mix them well and saute for a minute. Now I'm going to add 2 cups of tomato puree and salt as per taste. I will mix them well. Now I'm going to allow this to cook for about 2-3 to three minutes. Ok let's go back to the baby corns and looks like they are done. Now I'm going to transfer these baby corns into a bowl. Now I'm going to add this boiled baby corns into the masala mixture. So I'll stir them well with the masala mixture. Now I'll close the wok and cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the oil separates. Alright, it has been 10 minutes so let's open the lid. Wow, the aroma is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna give it a mix. Now into this I will add quarter cup of cashew nut paste and using the same cup I will add little water to adjust the consistency of the curry. Okay, I will give them a good mix and cook it again for a minute. Now we'll add little more flavors into this by adding quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder and one teaspoon of crushed kasuri methi. Finally, I will add one chopped coriander leaves. I'll give it a final mix. And the baby corn masala is ready. Okay, so you can serve it with your favorite Indian breads such as rotis, kulchas, naans, chapatis or pulkas. I hope you like this video and I thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.